everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we're making this absolutely lovely Link to the Past stocking cap. This one is a lot of fun to make. It looks quite easy and it's a pretty fast project, but we are working with reverse single crochets to make this really nice 3D design. This is really, really cool. And uh, it's a lot of fun. We're working with uh, single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, front and back post stitches along our brim here. And then the reverse single crochet giving it this popping design and then we are also braiding a like, nice little embellishment on the side of our hat it looks really nice so this is what our hat will look like on a person now this hat is a large adult size but during this video tutorial I will show you and stop you at certain parts where you should stop for a um, an infant, a child, and a teen adult size. And then we go on to finishing this hat, making it a large adult size. So for those of you who want this in different sizes, you can continue watching this video or follow along with the written pattern that's linked in the description of this video and you can get smaller sizes for this hat. It is so adorable. And it'd be great if you made it in different colors uh, for the holidays or for babies, for photo props. I think this is such a fun project. Thank you to Red Heart Yarns for providing the yarn for this project today. The yarn I'm using is Red Heart Super Saver Yarn. This yarn is a size 4 medium yarn. It is worsted weight, but you can use a double knitting yarn or any type of Aran yarn if you cannot get the worsted weight yarn size 4. Uh, this color that I'm using is warm brown just for the braid here. That's just a small amount of that. Um, not very. I'm not very specific on the yardage, probably only like 5 yards of that for the braid. And then my main color you are going to need, let's see here, this is 364 yards. I would say you would need about 250 yards of this. I have a little left over um, after making this hat. And this specific color I'm using today is called Medium Time and this uh, brown color is called Warm Brown. So those are the two colors I'm going to be using in this tutorial today to demonstrate for you, but you can use any colors you want in this project to make this hat uh, really popping and exciting. The other supplies you're going to need today are an H size crochet hook. This one is my absolute favorite hook. I use this in a lot of my video tutorials. This one has a wooden handle that is hand carved ergonomic and is just really really great to use. I'll put the link in the description of this video where you can get the same exact hook or hooks like this one um, that have a fixed hook inside with a really nice handle and you can get that at the Etsy shop would be fancy. Like I said I'll put the link in the description of this video where you can get these fabulous hooks and the holidays are right around the corner you guys so you can stock up on these give these to your friends who love to crochet also you're going to need a scissors and a yarn needle to cut your yarn so in some ends and that kind of thing if you want to use a uh, measuring tape you can also use a measuring tape and you guys can get this specific measuring tape I will put this link to this one on Amazon where you can get this measuring tape this little lamb anybody who loves to crochet would appreciate this as well so check that out too so those are all the supplies you're going to need for this project now before we begin like I said you can get the written pattern for free on my website and I will put the in, um, instructions in the notes section and throughout the written pattern for smaller sizes and in this video tutorial obviously too there are different sizing information about these um, this hat where you can end sooner and all that so get those links in the description there's the link to where you can get all the supplies for this the written pattern and uh, where you can find me on social media I would absolutely love to see your photos so make sure you share them on Facebook and Instagram a lot of you want to share it on YouTube but there's no way so just go over to my Facebook page and share it on the wall or send me a message and you can share it that way. I would love to see your crochet photos. And on Instagram, hashtag Yarn Utopia. And last thing before we begin, I have to say a huge thank you to my dad, Fouad Azmat, for taking the time to make this video with us. He's our videographer, editor, and photographer for all of our videos. So make sure you say a big thank you to him. He does majority of the work over here. So big thanks to him and thanks to you. Let's get started and make this Link to the Past stocking cap. All right, let's start out with the main color and make a slip knot. So put your short end over your long end, then fold that down and then pull it through and pull tight. Insert your hook and we can start. So we're gonna make a spiral and we're going to work in continuous rounds. So round one, we're gonna start out by chaining two. So yarn over and pull through one and two. 
And now in this second chain from the hook right here, we are going to put a series of stitches. We are going to put three single crochets. So go into the second chain right here, yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, that is a single crochet. Go back in, yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. That's number two single crochet, and one more single crochet goes in there for a third single crochet. Now we are going to make three half double crochets into that same chain. So yarn over, go into that same chain, then yarn over and pull through, then yarn over and pull through all three of the loops on your hook. It's just a little bit of a taller stitch and we are starting the spiral here. So we're going to continue working another half double crochet. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three. Okay, we have to do one more. So yarn over, go back in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three. And now, the last three stitches for round one are three double crochets. So yarn over, go back into that same chain, That's then you can see I'm working and I'm turning this around, we're working in a circle here. So yarn over and go in, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through those other two loops. Okay, so we're getting taller here. This is a double crochet, and for the rest of this pattern, we're gonna be working double crochets. So yarn over, go back in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. And one more. Yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So for round one, we have nine stitches. We are going to be working in continuous rounds, so I recommend getting a stitch marker to mark your rounds. I'm just using a random piece of yarn here to stick right in there. And we are going to be working in the back loops only. Now this is very important since we are going to be working in the front loops later. The loops that are closest to you, right here, right here, right here, these loops are the front loops, okay? Those are the ones closest to you. Leave those open because we are going to come back and work in those. And the loops that are furthest away from you, this one right here, loop here, loop here, and loop here. Those are the back loops. We are going to be working in the back loops for this part of the project. So we are going to be working in the back loops and I'm going on to round two right now. I put my stitch marker in here and for rounds two through five we are going to be working one double crochet in each stitch. So yarn over, go into the back loop of the first single crochet, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, yarn over, go into the next stitch, back loop only. I will keep reminding you throughout this video so you know to work in the back loops because when we come, when we finish, actually when we come back around and finish the, the hat part, we are going to come back and work in the front loops all the way around and I'll show you way later in this project but just work in the back loops just putting one double crochet in each stitch for rounds two through five so two three four and five we're just working a double crochet in each stitch and you can see here I have two stitches left for round two I'm just double crocheting here and then for round three I have to move my stitch marker up, so moving this up here to mark my rounds, okay? And then we're just going to continue working. So I'm going to move my stitch marker up every single round to make sure uh, I mark where I started this round, okay? And then I'm just going to do that. So I'm just going to double crochet in each stitch around until I finish round five, and when I'm finished with round five, I'll meet you up. We'll go on to round six to increase. All right, just finished round five here. You can see here there's round one, and then we put our stitch marker in for two, three, four, and five. So now I'm finished with round five, moving that stitch marker up. For round six, we are going to increase by putting two double crochets in each stitch around. Always remember back loops only. So we'll double crochet in this first stitch two times, okay? 
oopsie, just like that. So two double crochets in the back loop of each stitch around. So hop to the next stitch in the back loop, put two double crochets, one and two. Okay, and then hop to the next and put two in there. And we're gonna put two double crochets in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of round six, we are going to have 18 double crochets. So we'll go from nine to 18 stitches. Okay, so after this round, I'll meet you up and then we'll go on to round seven. All right, I just finished round six, right? <laughs> I keep screwing this part up. So we just finished round six here and we have a big increase here. We have 18 stitches around. So now I'm moving my stitch marker up to go on to round seven. And uh, for round seven through 11, we are just double crocheting in each stitch around. And just remember to work in those back loops only, just putting one double crochet in each stitch around for round seven through 11. So seven, eight, nine, 10, and 11. For five rounds total, you will be putting just one double crochet in each stitch around. Just make sure to move your stitch marker up each round and work in the back loops only. Once I finish with round 11, I'll meet you up and we'll go on to increase for round 12. Alright, so I just did round 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 just now off camera here so you can see that this is what it should look like. Don't worry about it looking weird over here because when we come back around and do uh, that ridge in the front loops you won't see this like drastic increase over here. So it's all good. So let's go on to uh, the next round round 12 we are going to increase so let's move our stitch marker up at round 12 we have to put two double crochets in oopsie the first stitch <laughs> let's get our hook and line here so yarn over go into the first stitch in the back loop only put two double crochets in there so one and two and then in the next stitch, we're just going to put one double crochet. So yarn over, just go into this back loop of this next stitch and put one double crochet in there. And then we're just going to repeat that whole sequence all the way around. So in the next stitch here, put two double crochets in there, one and two. And then in the next stitch after that, we're going to put one double crochet. Okay, and then two in the next and then one in the next. At the end of round 12, we'll have 27 double crochets all the way around. So I'm just gonna do that sequence, just repeat that sequence all the way around right there, and then I'll meet you up and we'll go on to round 13. All right, I have 27 stitches for that round 12, moving my stitch marker up for rounds 13 through 16. So the next four rounds, we are going to put one double crochet in each stitch around. So round 13, 14, 15, and 16. Just four rounds this time. We are just putting one double crochet in the back loop only of each stitch around. So you'll have 27 double crochets for each of those rounds. So once I finish round 16, I'll meet you up and we'll increase for round 17. All right, just finished round 16 here. Let's see here we have our increase round. You can see our increase round because there's two stitches in that same stitch there. And then the next four rounds are the ones that we just did, uh, rounds 13, 14, 15, and 16, okay? So move that stitch marker up. Going on to round 17, we are going to increase. Let's put two double crochets in the first stitch right here in the back loop only. Two double crochets in there. And then one double crochet in the next two stitches. So one in that one, and then one in the next one. Okay, and then let's just repeat that sequence all the way around. Sorry, I was kind of turned a little bit. So we can do two double crochets into this one, this next one here, one and two, and then one double crochet in the next two stitches in the back loops only. So one in that one, and then one in the next one. 
At the end of round 17, we will have 36 double crochets all the way around. So I'm just going to repeat this sequence and then I will meet you up and we'll go on to round 18. All right, moving my stitch marker up, I have my 36 stitches all the way around. That was round 17. Going on to round 18, we are just putting one double crochet in each stitch around for rounds 18 and 19. Okay, so just two rounds this time, just putting one double crochet in each stitch around. So I'm going to, I'm going to do that for rounds 18 and 19, and then I'll meet you up and we'll increase again for round 20. All right, just finished round 19, going on to round 20. You can see here 18 and 19 were just uh, double crochet in each stitch around. So going on to round 20 now, we are going to increase. Let's put two double crochets in the first stitch in the back loop only, one and two, and then one double crochet in the next three stitches this time. So one in that stitch, one in the next stitch, and one in the next stitch. Okay, and then just repeat that sequence all the way around. So two double crochets in the next stitch, one and two, and then one double crochet in each of the next three stitches, one, two, and three and then just repeat. So two in the next, one in the next three. We're going to do that all the way around and at the end of round 20 we will have 45 stitches all the way around. So I'm going to do that and then I'll meet you up for round 21. Alright, I have my 45 stitches going on to round 21, moving my stitch marker up. We are going to, for round 21 and 22, we're just going to repeat round 18 and 19. So we're just putting one double crochet in each stitch around for rounds 21 and 22. You'll have 45 double crochets on each of those rounds and then uh, we'll do another increase after uh, round 22. So I'll meet you up when we go on to round 23. All right, I just finished round 21 and 22. Now at this point in the hat, this is what it should look like. And uh, if you want to, you can, um, you know, for a baby size, you could do like one or two more rounds of the 45 stitches around and then jump to the instructions uh, for the last three stitches of round 35 and then go on to rounds 36 through 40 and further into this video or also follow along with the written pattern instructions uh, for finishing off this part to make a baby hat. But I am actually going to be making the large adult hat so let's go on to increase some more. I'm going to increase now to 54 stitches. Let's put the stitch marker up. And in the first stitch here, let's put two double crochets. One and two. And then in the next four stitches, we are going to put one double crochet in each one of those. So one, two, oopsie, two, three, and four. And then we're just going to repeat that sequence all the way around. So two double crochets in the next stitch, one and two, and then one double crochet in the next four stitches. So at the end of round 23, you're going to have 54 stitches all the way around. So I'm just going to repeat this sequence all the way around. So it's two double crochets in the next stitch and one double crochet in the next four stitches after that and just repeat. So I'm going to do that and then I'll meet you up for round 24. Alright, I have my 54 stitches around, so going on to round 24, actually rounds 24 and 25 are repeats of 21 and 22, so just putting one 
double crochet in each stitch around for the next two rounds. So for rounds 24 and 25, I'm just putting one double crochet in each stitch, working in the back loops only. Remember you guys, we're going to be working in those front loops that we left uh, free. We're going to be working in those later on. So just remember to always work in the back loops only. And uh, for rounds 24 and 25, you're going to still have 54 stitches around. And then after round 25, I'll meet you up because we are going to do an increase for round 26. All right, just finished round 25. Here we did rounds 24 and 25, just putting one double crochet in each stitch for 54 stitches. Your hat should look like this now. And if you want to um, you make the toddler size, you can check out the written pattern. You can do a few more rounds of the 54 stitches around and then go on to the last few stitches of round uh, 35 and then go on to the instructions for rounds 36 through 40. And you can finish off this hat and make it into a toddler size but I still need to increase some more so let's turn this back around and increase now to 60 stitches let's move the stitch marker up for round 26 we are going to increase to 60 stitches by putting two double crochets in the first stitch one and two and then one double crochet in the next eight stitches. So the increases have changed a little bit. We're putting one double crochet in the next eight stitches this time. So one, two, next stitch, three. Here's four, five, oopsie, five, there we go, six, seven, and eight. This round we're only increasing a total of six times. So you'll see here, there's their increased stitches. And then we just did one double crochet in the next eight stitches. And we're going to repeat that. So put two double crochets in the next stitch. Always remember back loops only. And then one double crochet in the next eight stitches. Like I said, the this round um, is round 26. You'll have 60 stitches at the end of this round. And then I will meet you up at the end of this round because we will go on to round 27 together. All right, just finished round 26 here. We have 60 stitches around. Now you should see this is what your hat should look like. Again, if you want to end here, this is the teen size. If you want to continue making just a few rounds of just 60 stitches around, you could do like three or four rounds of just 60 stitches around. And then go on to the last few stitches of round 35, and then go on to rounds 36 and to 40, um, those uh, instructions and you can find that information in the written pattern just uh, to make the smaller size for the teen adult size that would um, fit uh, in this um, stitch count. So I just need to increase one more time to make this a large adult size. So follow along here. We're going to move our stitch marker up and we are going to increase for round 27. We are going to put two double crochet in the first stitch moving the stitch marker up there, putting two double crochet in the first stitch, one and two, and then one double crochet in the next nine stitches. So here's one, here's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine is right here okay and then we're just going to repeat that sequence all the way around so put two double crochet in the next stitch and then one double crochet in the next nine stitches and at the end of round 27 you'll have 66 stitches around that's going to be our last increase uh, but we still have a few rounds left to go so I'm just going to repeat this sequence all the way around and then I'll meet you up for round 28 all right, I just finished round 60, or I'm sorry, 
We just finished round 27. I have 66 stitches around. Sorry about that. Um, so I have increased to 66 stitches. We're going on to round 28. And for rounds 28 through 35, we are just putting one double crochet in each stitch around. So I think that's eight rounds. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Yes. Eight rounds. We're just putting one double crochet in each stitch around. Now you can make yours uh, as long as you want. If you want to go, you know, 10 rounds or 12 rounds, make it even longer, you can totally do that. I'm just going to do eight rounds and then uh, at the end of round 35, um, leave three stitches unworked. I'm going to show you how to finish round 35 and then we'll go on to round 36 together. All right, so I just finished um, eight rounds, so 28 to 35, and you can see here is my increase from uh, round 27. Okay, so we did round 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and 35. And on 35, on round 35, we have three stitches left. Okay, so you can see my stitch marker is here. I have to work in these last three stitches, but we are going to now kind of decrease here. Um, in sizing. So we are going to, uh, in the last three stitches, in this next stitch here, we're going to put a half double crochet. So yarn over, go in the back loop still, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Okay, that just shortens the stitch. And the next stitch also is a half double crochet. So yarn over, go in, back loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And then on the last stitch, we're going to single crochet. So just go in, then yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay? Now I'm going to put my stitch marker in here, and we are going to slip stitch into the next stitch. And we are going to go under both loops now. This is round 20, or I'm sorry, this is round 36. Okay, so we're going up on a row, but we're going to slip stitch into here, her, here first. So go into the stitch under both loops, okay? Yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Okay, but this is round 36 now. We are going to chain up two, one and two. That does not count as anything on this round, okay? The stitch that we worked that into right here, we are going to make a front post double crochet around this stitch. So yarn over, go on this side of the post around it, okay, just like that. Then yarn over and pull that through, just like that. And then yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, that's a front post double crochet on that stitch. Now on the next stitch, we are going to put a back post double crochet. So yarn over, go from behind your work around that next post, okay, around it just like that. Yarn over and pull that through. Then yarn over and pull through two loops and yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, that's a back post double crochet. So we're going to alternate these two stitches all the way around. So yarn over, we're going to do a front post double crochet on this next stitch. So go from the front around your post, just like that, yarn over and pull through, then yarn over, pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, that's a front post double crochet. Next stitch is a back post double crochet, so yarn over, go from behind your work to the front and then go back to the back, just like that. Yarn over and pull that through. Okay, then yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Okay, so alternate those two stitches all the way around. When I am finishing round 36, this is round 36 here. When I'm finishing this round, I'll show you how to close this round off because we have those weird stitches at the end there. Those last three stitches back here are a half double crochet 
half double crochet and a single crochet. So I'll show you how to finish those three stitches and then we're going to actually slip stitch to this first stitch here and go on to uh, round 37. So I'll show you how to do that uh, when I get back around here. But just alternate these two stitches, front post double crochet and a back post double crochet, all just like this. And then I'll meet you up and we'll go on to the next round together. Alright, just finishing round 36 here, I have to do a front post double crochet on this double crochet here, and then we're going to do a back post double crochet on this half double crochet here, and then a front post double crochet on this next half double crochet stitch right here, and then on our last stitch of this round, we're going to do a back post double crochet. Now if you made smaller sizes it might be opposite. You might do you might end with a front post double crochet around the single crochet. I'm not quite sure, but uh, just do your front and back post stitches on each stitch just like that. Okay, and then when you're finishing this round, let's slip stitch to the first front post double crochet, okay? Not this chain up two right here. We're going to skip over that and go into the actual stitch of the front post double crochet. Yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Okay, just like that. And now we can go on to round 37. So chain up two, one and two, and make a front post double crochet on the front post stitches, and make a back post double crochet on the back post stitches. So basically just repeating that last round. We're just doing that for rounds 37 through 40. Okay, so the next four rounds are just a alternating the back post double crochet and front post double crochet stitches. Uh, just make sure you're working front post stitches on the front post stitches and back post stitches on the back post stitches just like this okay so this is front post double crochets and these are back post double crochets front post then back post just like that so we're doing that all the way around for rounds 47 through or I'm sorry 37 through 40 so um, in total we'll have five rounds of these front and back post stitch, stitch rounds, but you can make yours wider or shorter. You could end after this round, you can make it longer or shorter, just alternate these to make a little brim kind of thing, and then once we are finished with this round, we or actually this sequence, we'll do until I finish round 40. I'm going to repeat these rounds until I finish round 40, and when I'm finished with round 40, I'll meet you up because I'll show you how to fasten off, and then we'll go on to making the next uh, part of this hat. Alright, I just finished round 40, so you can see here, here is round 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. I am going to slip stitch to the first front post double crochet right here. For each round, when you're finishing each round, you should slip stitch to the front post double crochet and the yarn over pull through and through. And then when we're finishing, we're going to chain that one and then we're going to cut that yarn and pull it all the way through and pull it tight. I'm going to grab my yarn needle right away and we're going to sew this end in. Okay, so I'm just going to yarn my needle and then I'm going to go onto the inside here and go underneath some of these stitches and pull that yarn through and then come back through those stitches and pull the yarn through again. Okay, And then I'm just going to cut off any extra that I might have. Be careful with your scissors, just like that. Now I'm going to remove this stitch marker Okay, and this is what your hat should look like. Now you can see right here, this is the back of the hat. You can see our sort of seam from making those front post, back post stitches. There's our seam right there, and then there's where our back post, uh, working in the back loop of our stitches, that's where it ended. Okay, that's where we're actually going to start for this next section. If you just want the hat just like this, you can, you know, flatten it out, look, make it look nice, make sure that's the back, flip it to the front, and you have a lovely hat. But I just want to add a little bit more detail here. So what we're going to do is go back to our hat on the back side here where we ended um, working in the back loops only, where our front post, back post stitches start right here. Okay, we're going to insert our hook into that front loop of our very last stitch that's worked in with the 
uh, worked in the back loop there. So you can see that free stitch right there. You can see these front loops are free. We're going to be working in those backwards. We're going to be making reverse single crochets. So I'm going to go into this first loop here and then we're going to hook on the same color. You can use the same color or a different color. I'm not quite sure what a different color would look like, but if you do a different color, try it out. Show me on Facebook what yours looks like, but I'm going to use the same color. Okay, and we're just going to pull that through just like that. I'm going to leave this straggler behind here. I'll sew that in later. And we're going to chain one. Okay, in that same stitch, we are going to single crochet. So go into that stitch, yarn over, pull through. Okay, just like that. And then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, it looks like a regular single crochet. But we're going to go backwards, so we're going to go to this stitch now, going this way, to the right. We're going to go into the next stitch, okay, from here, like this. Make sure this string, this thread right here, is on this left side here. We're going to hook it on, okay, come underneath, just like that. You can see both loops are on the hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through both of those loops. That is a reverse single crochet. So go to the next free stitch right here, the front loop of this stitch. Make sure that this is on the left side of your hook. Hook it over under like this. Okay, pull it through. And you want to make sure that that loop that you just pulled through is on the left side of the loop that was already on your hook. Okay, that's this is the one I just pulled through right here. Okay, and that's on the left side of this loop. Then we're going to yarn over and pull through both of those. That is a reverse single crochet. And you can kind of see it loops, it makes these weird loops that look really kind of cool actually. Not really weird. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Anyway, I'll explain it again. We're going to go into the next stitch that's free right here. Yarn over with this, just kind of grab onto that yarn and pull it through underneath the loop that's on your hook, then yarn over and pull through both of those loops. Okay, just like that. And once you get the hang of this, it'll go much faster. So go into the next loop that's free right here, yarn over and pull it through, or just grab that yarn and pull it through, and then yarn over and pull through both of the loops on your hook. Okay, and we're just going to continue doing this until we finish. This is going to spiral all the way around and it's going to be a continuous spiral and there's no, you know, rounds or anything. We're just going to do a reverse single crochet in all of the front loops on this project. And it's going to bring up this ridge here that's going to look super fabulous, almost 3D like, and it's just going to look really cool. So it's just a small detail, but it really changes the look of the hat, which I really like. So I'm going to do that all the way till we get to the very tippy top of this stocking cap, and then I'll meet you up. I'll show you how to fasten off. We'll sew in some ends, and then we just have one other small detail to do to finish this stocking cap. All right, I am just finishing this. Took me a little while, but I got up to the very top, just spiraled all the way around this whole thing. So this is what the hat looks like now. Very detailed and very 3D. It looks really, really nice. So to fasten this off, once you get all the way back to the top, you're going to actually go back into... Let me position this so you're looking at it like this. So you're going to go back into that last stitch there, kind of like this, and then kind of just pull that through and pull it through the loop. Just slip stitch. Okay? And then just chain one, and then cut your yarn, and then pull that all the way through, and pull tight. We're going to grab our yarn needle right away, and we have two ends to sew in here. This first one up here. Let's yarn our needle and then go into the hat into round one from the hat. Okay, just like that. And you can kind of cinch it really tight so that it gives a nice point here. And when you're satisfied with that, you can cut that short. Just like that. 
And then we have another strand way at the bottom here where we started making these reverse single crochets. We are going to yarn our needle with that strand and just sew it in underneath those stitches. just to hide it. So now you can be done with this hat if you want to be. Um, there's just one more detail I want to show. So here's the back of the hat right there. So I'm going to flip this over. So this is what your hat should look like right now. But I am going to show you one little detail. I want to do a little like tie uh, embellishment on the side. That's why I have this warm brown color. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to set this aside right now. And what we're going to do is grab uh, let's see here, grab nine strands of this that are um, like, um, I don't know, 36, maybe 45 inches. So kind of, I'm just kind of eyeballing it, where my arm's length kind of going. And we just want it a little bit longer, we're going to braid them. So we're going to do nine strands, okay, because we're going to do three sections of three strands each and we're going to braid this piece so let me see how many strands I have one two three four five six seven here's eight and nine okay and they don't have to be perfect just cut that and then we're gonna cut this each strand okay just like that on that end grab the other end and cut each strand. Okay, then take one of your ends here. Make sure all your strands are there. Okay, so we have nine strands. Let's double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we're going to take this strand, take the short, a uh, short end, and then the, your long end here. Okay, we're going to wrap this around our hand like this. Okay, kind of exit like this, and then tie a knot. So push that through just like that, all the way. Kind of like a slip knot, but we're going all the way. Okay, and pull it tight. Then, if you don't, what I usually do if I'm sitting on the couch crocheting or doing this, I'll just stick this between my knees and squeeze them together. But what I'm actually going to do on this tabletop here is tape this down. Or if you have somebody to hold it for you, that's always nice too. So I'm going to tape that down there. And what I'm going to do, you're going to want to tape it tight so that you can pull at this. And we're going to separate these into three strand sections. Okay, just like this. Get all these supplies out of here. So we have three strands in each section, right? So we're just going to braid this. So we're going to go over with the right side and then over with the left side. Okay, and just keep doing that over with the right side and pull tight over with the left side. Okay, there are other braiding video tutorials on YouTube if this is too confusing for you. So you can, you know, braid a piece, a long strand like this, and once I have this whole strand braided, I will show you exactly what we're going to do with it after I braid about, I want to say about 12 inches, maybe 18 inches of a braid. Um, then once I have that long piece done, then I'll meet you back up. See, once you get the hang of a braid, you can go pretty fast. So I'm going to braid this pretty fast and then I'll meet you back up and I'll show you what to do with this strand. All right, so I just took the tape off there. This is about what I have here. It's about 18 inches long of a braid. So I didn't tie this end off though. What I'm going to do is weave this through and then we'll tie a knot in the end. So we're good. let's grab our hat. And what we're going to do is look at the very back side. Okay, I'm going to actually fold it at the back there. Okay, and then whichever side you want your tie to be on, left or right, it does not matter. I'm going to keep mine on the, when you're wearing it, it's going to be on the right side. So I'm going to put it on this side here because the back, you can see the back of my hat ends right here. So I'm going to put it on this side here. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So what we're going to do is take the part where we have it knotted here and we're going to go in, let's see here, we're going to start from the 
inside. We're going to go into this row, this row here between the rows of the reverse single crochet. And we're just going to poke it through between the posts, just like that. Okay? Then we're going to come over a few stitches. Let's say, let's skip about one, two, three, four, five, about six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then go in between these little posts. Okay? Just like that. Kind of pull it all the way through so you're you have just a little bit of slack on this side. Okay? Just like that. Then we're gonna go up. Let's see here. We're gonna go up to this next row right here, right above this one. Okay, and we're gonna kind of lace this up. Okay, so then I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna skip this row here and we're gonna come up and over to this row. Whoopsie. Skip this row here, go up to this row here. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. And we're just gonna pull it into the hat. Okay, so making a crisscross. Then we're gonna just come right up straight to this very next row right here. Okay, and then we're gonna crisscross skipping this row here and crisscross, make sure you're straight along this edge and go into the hat right here. Perfect. Then we're going to go straight up to the very next row right here between the posts and now we're going to come back down. So we're going to go across make sure we're lined up right here all the way to the top you can skip about five, six stitches right here is where we should go back in. Okay, then come right through this part right here, right below it, and we'll make a crisscross stitch. Right like this, and we want to get down right into here. Okay, so we're just doing opposite now, coming down. And then we're going to just make sure it's all nice and tidy. Okay, come right below there. And then come over to this side right here. Okay, so you want to end on the inside. Right there. Awesome. So that's how that should look. And then we're going to flip it to the inside and you can see that we have to tie these off into a knot. Okay, so we're going to tie this end and this end. So let's just tie them nice and snug, just like this, over and around. I'm going to do a double knot here. And get all the strands and then pull tight, extra tight. Okay. And then we're going to grab our scissors and cut off this knot. Okay. And then cut this strand very short. Just like that. So that's a nice tug or snug knot, just like that. You can tug on it, make sure it's safe and secure. And that and that won't bother anybody's head, you know, baby's head or adult's head. It's not going to bother anybody on the inside. It's it's a pretty small knot on the inside. So there you have the tie. And that's just a small embellishment. If you want to add that, you can just kind of make it look pretty. But there you have it. Our fabulous hat is complete. Thank you so much for watching and learning how to make this hat with me. Make sure you hit the thumbs up if you learned something today. Share your photos on Facebook, Instagram, hashtag Yarn Utopia. Make sure you subscribe to our channel here. And on this uh, screen now, there will be a video or a little thing here that will show you to subscribe. Here you can see on your screen to 
to go to my website and there will be a video showing up around here to show to see another video another video tutorial so you can crochet something else big thank you to red heart yarns for providing the yarn today big thank you to my dad back there for videotaping editing and um, doing the photography for this video and always thank you to you for supporting Yarn Utopia, watching our videos and sharing our patterns and everything. You guys are the best so thanks for watching. Happy hooking!